Um, welcome to the Ansible Contributor Summit. My name is Carol Chen, and uh, I'm part of the Ansible community team uh, at Red Hat. Together with uh, John Barker, better known as Gundalo, we will be your hosts for this event. It's great to see so many uh, people signing up and participating in Ansible Contributor Summit, um, and also to engage with the community and contribute to the project. I'll start with some uh, housekeeping items. All the content from today will be recorded and shared after the event. Feel free to use the chat function in Google Meet or the Ansible-community channel in Freenode IRC, on Freenode IRC, to chat and to discuss with one another throughout the event. You can use also the Q&A function, which is in Google Meet, to ask questions, as we may, may or may not be able to catch all the questions in the um, chat when it gets busy. Throughout the day, there will be sessions you can actively participate in and voice your suggestions and feedback. And you can unmute yourself to speak directly in Google Meet. However, please be considerate and mute yourself when you're not speaking. The agenda is, the agenda is on HackMD, and I'll share the link right after this. So uh, let's start off with a round of introductions. Once again, I'm Carol Chen, and I take care of outreach and events in the Ansible community team, such as meetups, the Bullhorn newsletter, this event, community tweets on Twitter, and so on. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and you can find me as Cybat on IRC, GitHub, etc. Over to you, Gandalo. Gundalo. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm Gundalo. I'm, uh, well, my real name is John Barker, but everyone calls me Gundalo on GitHub and on Freenode, and the Gundalo on Twitter. My pronouns are he, him. Um, I'm the engineering manager of the Ansible community team, and we'll talk a bit more about the, the structure there. It's great to see everyone, albeit virtual. I hope we're going to meet up in person soon. Thank you. All right, Greg. Hey, morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, my name is Greg Sutcliffe, also known as Kingilvan. If you've already worked that out, well done for reading Celtic. Uh, I am the statistician that helps out with the community team. Uh, so I'll be talking a bit of some stats later on. Uh, I'm also a, a he, his, him. And uh, you can also find me as Kingilvan on Matrix and IRC. Um, we can chat stats or anything else for that matter, because I'll talk about anything. Thank you, Greg. Um... Lots of people joining, so <laughs> David. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and uh, good evening, even perhaps. Uh, should I be introducing myself? Uh, sorry, I just jumped in. Oh, yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> just okay, a quick sorry. intro, yeah, what you do and stuff, yeah. All right, I'm not, I'm not fully awake yet. Uh, so, uh, well, my name is David. Um, I am from Montreal in Canada. I am also a part of Gundalo's team. Uh, in the Ansible community. Uh, you might otherwise know me as the author of ARA, um, and I'll be talking uh, later today about uh, Ansible 3.0, uh, what got us there, and uh, you know what's, what's in store for us. Thanks. Uh, Omprakash? Hey, everyone. Um, morning, noon, and evening. So my name is Omprakash, and I'm from Ansible community team. Um, I work under Gundo and team. So in today's uh, summit, I'm going to talk about um, the new initiative that we, you know, um, that we have come up with about steering committee. So, mm -hmm. yep. Thank you. Do we have any more of our team here? Is Derek on? Derek? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hi, I'm uh, Derek Crago. I'm also on the Ansible community team. Um, you can find me on IRC and GitHub at Derek Crago, and my pronouns are he, him, his. Great, thank you. Uh, I don't think Robin's on yet. Yeah, there's a few people from the from the call team, so just looking alphabetically. Yeah. Uh, Alex. Uh, Alex in Germany, are you there? And can you 
yes, too quickly. I am. I even enable your camera, uh, my camera for you. Jeez, it's it's morning <laughs> for me, but oh well, you can see. Uh, yeah, hi. Um, new to the co uh, core team, like in Jan January. Sorry for the birds; they are just woke up. Also, um, pronouns also him and friends. Um, yeah, looking forward to this since it's, well, my my first community summit where when I'm on this side. So, hope we have fun. Did I forget anything? Um, RC Nick or any special nickname on GitHub or something, ID? Uh, yeah. No idea how to pronounce it. EQRX, it's just four random letters because I wanted a short domain, so you can find me there, mostly on GitHub. Uh, most other socials I don't use. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Alphabetically, I guess Brad. Hey, everybody. Hello from Seattle, Washington. Uh, my name is Brad Thornton. I am an engineer on the Ansible content team. Uh, we write some of the write and support some of the content in house, the networking content, a little cloud, and some security. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, my GitHub, you can find me at CiderBlock. Um, today we will be talking, I think, in about three hours and 15 minutes or so. Uh, Ganesh and I are going to talk about the Ansible, <clears throat> the release of the Ansible, collection, Ansible Network Collections and the Ansible Utils Collection. So we'll go over that in a little bit of detail for you all. Great to meet you all. Thank you, Brad. Uh, Brian? Uh, Hello, robot. <laughs> Brian, your your audio is like digitized robot something. <laughs> I hope that's intentional. <laughs> uh, Brian Brian Koker, for those that don't know him, is a I hope I get this right, a principal or senior principal, Jimmy. Maybe Jimmy should introduce Brian since he's his boss. We'll uh, greetings. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, there you yeah, that works. Uh, it's a translator on. Our team, I'll be human in about another five minutes once my coffee's <laughs> done. Uh, just here hanging out. Thank you. Uh, where, who is next? Oh, Tosho is here. Hi, Tosho. Are you awake? Would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> or maybe we can come back to you later. I guess James, Jimmy. Yeah, hey, I'm Jimmy C. Uh, he, him, his, um, old school Ansible. Um, currently the manager of the core engineering team. Um, I GitHub for those who may not know me is the Jimmy C. Um, but yeah, I've been doing this a long time, so most of you probably know me. Great, thank you. Uh, Jesse. Oh, hey. Uh, I'll apologize in advance for moving around so much. It's, uh, it's a new habit, and it's really quite fun. Um, uh, Jesse Pretorius, I am RSC for me on RSC. Um, I am a collection maintainer, as well as a developer within Triple O, which is uh, uh, Red Hat's OpenStack product. Um, and I've uh, been working with Ansible for quite a few years. And, uh, uh, just happy to meet you all, and my pronouns are he, him, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, Mark Chapel. Hi, I'm Mark Chapel. I'm involved with the, I'm a community um, member involved with the AWS collections. Generally prefer uh, on IRC and GitHub. I go by the name Tremble, and my preferred pronouns are he, him, his. Thank you, Mark. Nikhil. Hello, everyone. My name is Nikhil Jain. I'm a senior software maintenance engineer with Red Hat. 
Uh, I work with the CE, so I interact with customers a lot. Uh, I usually work with the AWX as a community uh, uh, project. Uh, my contributions is more on the AWX and the AWX collection, which is used to manage AWX itself. And today I'll be presenting a small talk on execution environments and Ansible Builder. Uh, so looking forward to it. This is my first contributor summit. Good to have you here, Nikhil. Thank you. All right, uh, Rick Elrod. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, I'm Rick Elrod. I'm a release engineer for uh, uh, Ansible Core, Ansible Base, and Ansible uh, 2.9. And uh, yeah, happy to meet everyone and uh, glad to be part of this. Thank you, Rick. Uh, I'm not sure if I, I might have skipped Alexander. Hey. Um... So I work for uh, Automation Hub and Galaxy, um, backend engineer and uh, SRE uh, role on this project. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't recognize everyone's names if they are part of the team. Sandra. I know you are. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Sam Rican, Sam Can online. I'm one of the documentation writers for Ansible. Um, happy to be here. Looking for an exciting day. My preferred pronouns are she, her, hers. And hello, everybody. Good to see you, Sandra. Um, I, I think I, I skipped Sagi Schneidman. Sorry. If I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Hi. Actually, you pronounced it very well. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm uh, Sagi Schneidman working on uh, OpenStack CI team, uh, currently maintainer of OpenStack Ansible Collection and Podmont Container Ansible Collections. And uh, happy to be here. I think I participated in all community meetups, and uh, it's very interesting for me. Thanks. Great. Hey, Great Sagi, to nice to have you here. Sure. Hi, nice to meet you here. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Soren? Hi, my name is Sorin Zbarnia, ZBR on IRC. Uh, I'm part of the Red Hat OpenStack team, and I am the current maintainer of few quality assurance tools related, uh, like Ansible uh, Lint and uh, Molecule. Thank you, Soren. Um, Sumit? Hey, hi. So I'm currently part of uh, Ansible content team, where I contribute to networking and security domain. Um, yes, I'm part of this awesome team from the past three years almost. Thank you. Tim? Tim Aplo? Hey there. Sorry about that. Um, hi, I'm uh, Tim Apnell. I'm a product manager with the Ansible team. I've been around the Ansible community quite a while, not as long as Jimmy C and Coca and a few others, but I've been around. So uh, nice to see everyone, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you here, Tim. Right. Tosho, are you awake enough to say hi? <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can you? You just muted yourself. Okay, I am awake and I am here, but uh, apparently Google Meet is having problems for me. So uh, I'm Toshio. I'm a Badger 1999 on IRC. Uh, I work on mostly the Ansible package, uh, the tarball that you can get from PyPI and um, do a lot of coding uh, when there is coding required for producing that and for producing the docs. 
Great to have you at this time of the day, Tosho. All right, Trishna. Hi, everyone. Uh, good morning, afternoon, and evening, depending on which part you are in the world. Happy to meet you all. And I'm the engineering manager for the networking team. Uh, I've been the, I'm in the Ansible content team, have been hanging around in the Ansible community for quite a while. So yeah, looking forward to this great contributor, Sonic. Thanks, Trishna. And I think Abhijit joined, just joined. So would you like to say hi? Yeah, hi, hi everyone. My name is Abhijit Kasurde. I am the Mr. VMware uh, from Ansible team. <laughs> So welcome all to the Contributor Summit and hope to see you uh, in the Contributor Summit. Yeah. Thank you. Um, did I miss anyone from the core teams the, and uh, Red Hat teams? Please speak up. Just introduce yourself. Um, and I apologize for missing you out. And for everyone else, feel free just to, to use the chat function and and say who you are, where in the world you are, what your interests with Ansible, and more importantly, what you're hoping to get from the from today and tomorrow. I just got my mic on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Suat. I work for the Ansible core team for three years. And I like to break things and then fix them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we know <laughs> who's the one breaking things. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we are um, pretty much uh, right at time for this introduction part. So like Gandalo said, feel free to continue uh, chatting and introducing yourself in chat or on IRC. And according to the agenda, our next topic will be staffing update by Gandalo. Thank you, Carol. Um, so as I said earlier, but I know I've had a few people join, I'm John Barker, known as Gundalo. Um, when we met last time, or at least when we met in person in, in, uh, in Atlanta, I was a principal engineer. I've now got the very exciting job of being an associate manager. Um, and I have a team of five people now, um, of which four uh, recruited. I think that really speaks testament to how much Red Hat cares about Ansible and the community, even during this crazy time of COVID when there's not much hurry going on that we've uh, been able to hire four new, uh, four new people, um, that's along with Tosho. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of people to help do all the great work. Collections has been a fun journey. Um, <laughs> we can expand on that later as we go through, right? But it's. It's been difficult, but I think everyone sort of like really chipped in and we've got a lot to do, but I'm, I'm really impressed on how things are going now. We've got up a nice update from um, Greg Sutcliffe in about 20 minutes or so, so I won't steal his thunder, but there's some there's some good stats to say that we're, uh, we've done some great stuff there. Um, I will share briefly my screen. And just show you who we've got, where. But as we know, right, then we're, we're seeing that from the, the people today, right? There's, we've got a lot of people across many continents. Um, and we have, you know, my team now is spread across three continents. We've got uh, Umbagash, uh in, in India, um, Anderson, who's just joined uh, about a month ago, um, Anderson007, that if you've been on IRC or GitHub has been very active as the maintainer of MySQL and Postgres and a lot of other great modules. Uh, I'm in Manchester, UK. Uh, and then we've got uh, Derek uh, on the East Coast, David Smart in Montreal. And Tosho, according to this, it is quarter past, uh, 20 past four, so I really appreciate you uh, getting up that early to to be with us today. Um, I'm quite excited by this, even though I have to work crazy hours now, because um, I think it will let us do a lot of really good stuff to reach different people, um, especially having Umpagash in India, that gives us a, a lot more access to set up better meetups, um, 
have more events. Um, we will be sharing the pain of uh, having contributed to some of the different times of the day. Um, you know, we'll have one that's much friendlier to, to India, I think, maybe next time. And for the West Coast, well, I guess you can just stay up late instead. Um, but this is really exciting. Um, yeah, thanks again, everyone. Um, I think I might see you on the chat what you hope to get from today. And uh, I hope we can do some great stuff together. Thank you. Thank you, Gonzalo. And uh, yeah, we, we our team doubled in size within the past year. And it's just so great that, you know, to, to see that happening. And the community is also growing. So good stuff all around. Um, it took two minutes for that. So you now Om Prakash have three extra minutes for <laughs> the next topic. So go ahead, Om Prakash. You can start with the um, yep. steering committee. So can you see my screen? Not yet. OK, mm -hmm. it's loading. Yep. Awesome. So. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Om Prakash, and I'm from Ansible Community Engineering team. And um, in this presentation, I'll talk about the new initiative that we announced yesterday. And again, happy to introduce Ansible Community Steering Committee. So I'll tell you why this is um, important mm -hmm. right now. And basically, it is to help um, with the approvals, requests, and structure the project um, to help in long run. And um, to plan and strategize the uh, roadmap of Ansible upstream to help community users, um, I mean, uh, the issues they face and then provide solutions accordingly and identify mm -hmm. common problems faced by the users that are posted to mailing list, IRC, mm -hmm. um, Reddit, and even from meetups and try to get them fixed and um, again, give them solutions. And if required, we'll push them to Ansible doc site under FAQ uh, section. So here is the mission of uh, steering committee, and it helps to decide the technical direction of um, the Ansible community project. And it's also responsible for a level of new proposals, including feature idea, new policy in collection world, and a new collection inclusion request, um, also to empower contributors, maintainers, and reviewers, and other technical aspects regarding inclusion and packaging. So talking about the responsibilities, um, the committee members will help to design policy and procedure for the collection world, review things for complaints with the policies. And um, this point is specific to collections for now. And in future, um, you know, we may expand it. And also to help create our deliverables, such as community.general, community.network, uh, Ansible Thorball, and Docs website. And also ballot on approval changes to policy and new proposals. So these are the list of uh, current committee members. And they're all um, selected based on their current um, you know, active contribution to the Ansible project. And in future, we'll select the members via election model through community, which is still a work in progress. And if you have the details ready, um, we'll post an update. And um, talking about the scope, for now, it's just limited to collections. But again, you know, in future, um, mm -hmm. we may get uh, many new features. And we'll also expand to that. Now, um, if you have a new policy or, or proposal and uh, new collection inclusion request, how to submit them? So to submit new collection request, um, you, you should use GitHub dis discussion under Ransible inclusion repository. And to submit new policy proposals, you have to create a new pull request to Ansible collections or view GitHub repository. Now, once after that, um, you have to create a new issue um, under uh, Ansible Collections GitHub repository as a topic, and it will be discussed in the weekly IRC meeting. And uh, once after that, we'll move on to the voting process. So for now, everyone present in the meeting will vote on the conclusions. But um, you know, later in the future, uh, when the community evolves, we'll try to restrict the uh, rights just to the committee members. Like I said initially, uh, the initiative is to help with the approvals, request, and uh, structure the project. Meetings, um, as you all know, Ansible uh, community meetings happens on a weekly basis on Ansible community IRC channel every Wednesday at 19 UTC. Uh, it's, it's a bit late for people from APAC and other regions, but uh, 
we are in you know, under discussion to have you know maybe um, two meetings or we'll see how that works and for now we can find the agenda in this issue but like i said you know um, maybe from next meetings we'll uh, try to create a we, we request you know you all to create a new issue under ransomware collections over your repository and um, eventually that will help to you know categorize issues mm -hmm. i mean topics for uh, for discussion so minutes of the meeting can be found at fedora meet bot site and um, after every meeting the same will be posted to ansible devil mailing list what we need from you um, we encourage all the community users to participate in ansible community meetings and um, if you're interested you know in contributing to ansible project then kindly reach out to us in ansible community irc channel and we'll be happy to help um, mentor on that particular subject to know more about uh, steering committee uh, you can find this um, hackmd.io link and uh, we have you know shared um, what is the purpose responsibilities uh, more of the same details you know that i explained right now in this presentation so yeah thanks for listening to me and if you have any questions you can ask me now Uh, Om Prakash, uh, can you uh, shed some light on how uh, one can apply to steering committee? Or what is can... the procedure of uh, election of committee members, steering committee members? So, uh, Abhijit, you know, like I said, um, this it's a, it's a new initiative, right, uh, for this project, and um, we selected members based on their contributions, and um, also, like you know, we had one thing in mind uh, for the start, like uh, to have people from the time zone um, where everybody can meet. Um, and like I said, uh, future the election, I mean, we'll select mm -hmm. members based on the election, right? And like I said, we don't uh, have much details and we're still working on it. So once if the details are ready, um, you know, we'll post an update on how uh, that will work. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, about that, uh, I'd just like to say that um, it's probably going to be a while, like at least a year before we start having elections. We're in the bootstrap phase right now, trying to, you know, bring all of our processes up to speed and, and get things rolling. Uh, so we've tried to select people who have been active in the community, uh, actively maintaining collections, actively doing work uh, for this initial round. Uh, and it will just, you know, it'll take quite a while before we can get to the place where we have a way to vote. We have, you know, a, a large enough set of people who are willing to run and do work that it makes sense to vote and so on and so forth. Yeah, makes sense. And then for anyone that's sort of interested in getting more involved with that, come and talk to us on IRC GitHub, reach out to us publicly, privately, whatever. We're, we're happy to and, and we really want to sort of help mentor and train people to um, become uh, future steering committee uh, maintainers or just generally active people in the community, right? We know that there's a bit of a, a learning curve to get started, right? I hope we're a friendly community, but uh, you know, we're always happy to, to help out and stuff. And that's another reason why we've been building up a team across uh, three continents. So we've, we've got more people um, in accessible time zones for you all. There was also a question on, on whether the slides will be available. So we will collect the slides and share them after the event. Yep. So I'd be, I'd be interested in, in knowing what people think. I know it's, it's early on and audience participation can sometimes take a while. Um, but I, I know there's a few vocal people <laughs> on the chat already. Um, give us some feedback. Do you think this is useful? Do you think it will help? Do you have any concerns? We know, we know that this is something that will evolve over time as we as we learn more. Um, we, we have a lot of plans for this, but this is really a community initiative. Um, one of my aims 
um, for the team is that longer term, the Red Hat will be, sorry, at least the Ansible part of Red Hat will be at most 50% of those uh, of those members that will will be a truly community initiative driven, you know, where the community will have probably the majority of voting rights on these things. I can I can break the ice, even though you know I, I might be biased or something. Uh, I just want to mention, you know, coming from the OpenStack community, which has um, let's say a mature and well organized um, board of directors, technical committee, you know, all that structure around um, the open source project and you know running an organization, it has great people uh, running it, and they have uh, mentorship programs and everything. So you know, um, the the implementation of a steering committee in the Ansible project, I see that as a good thing, you know, and a step in the right direction. Um, it will take you know a while while we bootstrap things, um, but I, I'm glad to see us you know move forward with this. Thanks, David. Yeah, I, I can I can add to that. I'm not you know as the stats person, I don't know Ansible well enough to comment on. Ansible directly, but having come from other communities and having a background in community management, other com communities, this is great to see. I, this is something I wanted to do in the communities I used to be responsible for and never managed to get it off the ground. Uh, so, but it was a smaller community and therefore harder to set up, right? You need enough people to draw. Um, but it's it's really, really nice to see. Again, as David said, we might be slightly biased, right? But um, but yeah, it's it's very, very nice to see. I echo Greg's thoughts. Um, previously, uh, in my community, I wanted to do something similar as well, but um, yeah, didn't quite get that off. <laughs> so um, yeah, great, great to see this happening, and um, great work there on Prakash for for getting think, everything up. I think it speaks to the strength of the community. I, one of the reasons I kept backing off before was because I couldn't get it to a point where it wouldn't just all be red hatters. Um, and that's not for saying it wasn't a great community there, but there wasn't enough, um, it just wasn't a big enough pool of people to draw. I need to refill my water. <laughs> Anyone else yeah. have experiences yeah. in other communities which might have had something similar or any other thoughts? And yeah, if you have any feedback, even um, you know, we are welcome to receive that. You can either ping in chat or reach out to us in community channel. So yeah, and we'll write a blog post. I mean, we're going to do a blog post on the summary of contributors um, to summit. And just as a reminder, this has been the video has been recorded. We'll put this on YouTube, um, making some notes in IRC and in the the HackMD. Uh, we'll, we'll keep on sharing these notes because I know one of the problems with Google Meet is that if you don't get the history of the chat, um, we're really going to work on communication a lot. You know, we're going to be writing a lot of different things in different places on the Ansible blog, um, on Reddit. There's a lot of stuff. IOC is obviously really active. We're putting stuff on the Google groups as well. We're trying to reach different people, and every time there's major discussions, and especially when we want feedback, right? This is all about throwing some ideas out and getting feedback from the wider community. This is where the, the strength of Ansible is. So we'll expect to see a lot more stuff on, on this over the, the coming weeks and months. Looking at the time, it seems like we got a short break before uh, Greg uh, shows us some stats. Do you want to do that? Yeah, we could start the break now. But, um, you know, feel free to chat among yourselves and all right, we'll reconvene in nine minutes for Greg's presentation. Mm -hmm.